Okay, so we're now moving on to the boom. We've got a safety chain, which you can take off. And we've also got the main clamp. The main clamp, push, push a little bit of pressure on there, lift the lever up, and you can bring the, the whole boom out then. So the boom itself, if I bring it out a little bit, is counterbalanced. Okay, so if I pull down on the boom, it naturally wants to go back up again, which is fine. So that's its normal position. That's a counterbalanced boom. However, when it's full of water, and you've got the weight of water inside the boom as it's sucking up, then obviously it's not going to counterbalance. So to really was, you know, remove the risk of injury to your back and physically lifting the boom up, you've got what we call a lift assist trigger. So by pushing this trigger on the left hand side, it operates that air ram that you can see just there. So by pushing that trigger down, it will lift the boom up for you. So that's your lift assist, which is very useful. Okay, worth knowing. Stops you from straining your back. So lift assist. <coughs> the two triggers on this side. Boom jets we've already talked about. So if I push that lever up now, I'm not going to do it because the jet pump would start straight away and the jets would start coming out at the bottom of the boom. So that's your jet pumps, uh, sorry, your, your boom jets for cleaning the gully, the sides of the gully. The other trigger we've got is push to blow. So it's a bit like the changeover panel on the back of the machine. Under normal circumstances, we'd be taking the product into the machine under vacuum. By pushing that trigger down, it changes it from vacuum to pressure. So what's gone in will come back. Now that only works effectively when you've got more than half a load in the back of the tank. If you've got less than half a load, then that function doesn't really do anything. It'll only blow back what's gone up inside the pipe, uh, inside the boom itself. Uh, once you've got more than half a load in the rear tank, when you push that trigger down, it'll pressurize the tank and anything it's in will come back out through the boom. So we've got to be a bit careful how we use that trigger. If we hold it down too long and we've got a full tank, you're going to get very wet, especially if it's a shallow gully. This boom will go all the way around the back of the machine to the other side, to the temporary part that I showed you earlier on. And we might be using the boom on that side of the vehicle in certain circumstances. But when we're not using the boom, it needs to be positioned back on this side. This is the side it's normally used on. Okay, so to put the boom back, we go back into the hole here, to the cradle. You want to make sure that this flange is above the top. You can put your safety chain back on, and then you can bring your clamp round. And if you drop the clamp down, you should be able to get it in a position where it locks in. So that's the boom clamp back up again. The only other bit that I haven't shown you is these guards. And they're there really to stop you from smashing your knuckles onto the gully grates if you've got a hinge tight. And you've got anti-vibration handles on this machine. You can tell that by the yellow bands. So there's a bit of flexibility in these to stop hand and arm vibration, white finger. There's not a lot of vibration through the boom anyway, to be honest with you. Um, and you can have standard handles if you want. This machine has been fitted with the anti-vibration handles.